finally. I've waited over a year, and the day's finally come. You've waited over a year? Yes. I've waited over um, 26 years. Well, today we are seeing the remake of The Blob. I think you've got this confused with another week. Another year or two. No, we're seeing... What are we seeing, MJ? We're seeing Toy Story 3. What are you doing down there? Well, I'm going to bring these in. These are Woody and Buzz Lightyear. And he goes to infinity and beyond, and he goes, I am Woody. No, it would be like that. I am Woody to infinity and beyond. No, you got them reversed. Oh. All right, MJ. But we are going to see the movie, but we're not seeing it in 3D, uh, are we, MJ? I mean, the first two were not meant to be seen in 3D, so this one won't be. And we're seeing it at the Rotunda, where it's only $6 tickets. These came out to Burger King when the first one came to theaters. I brought these then, I brought these when I saw the Toy Story 2, and now I'm going to bring these in to see this one. You're going to bring them in with you? Yeah, and I'm going to do it when we go to see Toy Story 4 a few years later. There won't be a fourth one. Well, we don't know that. Well, I don't know, maybe. But you think this movie's going to be like, you know, like all the other Pixar movies where it has, like, motives to make you cry? I wouldn't be surprised. The second one certainly did. Like Weenie, remember how with Weenie, you know, Wally! Oh, yeah. Remember how you cried like a fiend in that? Oh, I know. And then, you know, there was Up, which you cried like a fiend in. You did a Toy Story 2. I haven't even watched Toy Story 2, MJ. So technically you shouldn't be seeing this one. I know. What about Ratatatouille? Oh, yeah. I cried when he made that dish with potatoes and cheese. I cried throughout most of that. What about, um, you know, King Ralph or whatever that one with the rats, Kratz creatures? Remember that, that show from, like, you know, years ago about the rat in the White House? Did you cry to that one, too? What do you mean, well, like, like, Lincoln Hill or something? I don't know. I you don't know, think we know. I know. It was a cartoon. I mean, why is it? There's like a whole bunch of people up there on bikes. They're going to come over here, and they're going to kill you, MJ. Before you ever get to see this movie. Uh, I'll fight them off to see this movie. Why well, me? Why not? But what, if they, what if they say, we'll only let you see that if you give us those toys? Well, uh, then I'll be like, Hwah! Hwah! They're coming over there real fast. I don't know if you can see them, but they're going really quick. Like, they're, they're trying to find you to kill you. Why me? I told you. They know about you. And what you do with those toys. Freak. Where are we, MJ? We're sitting down. In the rotunda? Next to a brick wall. A brick wall. You know, now you know what that reminds me of. Brick by brick. I drop myself down. I know. And back there, we got food back there at the pizza place, which is like a small pizza place. But it's been here since, like, I was a child. I remember years ago, too, they used to have, like, this record store. And I remember, like, I bought the first Rob Zombie cassette that I bought in there. Remember, like, back when we were, like, in middle school when, like, getting advisory CDs was cool? Well, actually, it was more like tapes then. Getting parental, like, ones with those big black and white parental advisory things on. Yeah, remember, though, how, like, we only listened to stuff with that because we thought it was cool? Yeah, well, no, you did, and then you got me to do it. Yeah, but then we realized, you know, that didn't matter. I know, I like listening to, well, what I like listening to. I know. I felt like the only time that, that I was kind of like a current trendish person, person was, you know, Six. in in sixth grade. Okay. And remember I wore those Marilyn Manson shirts and everything? It yeah, was like, poster and, and I had that weird look and everyone's like, Sean, are you saying this? And remember all how weird everybody was? Yeah. I was like, oh geez, what was I thinking? So what kind of pizzas do you have? Pepper and mushroom and then meat and pepperoni. And you're drinking a Sprite. Of course. Yeah. And you're drinking a Pepsi. Although I don't like Pepsi that much, MJ. And then, what's going to be the... I know. It doesn't always have to be about me. Yeah, no it doesn't. So let me, let me film you trying the pizzas. I think it's a, it's got mushrooms on Yeah, it's mushrooms. Oh yeah. And it's good, and I put garlic and pepper on it. Oh. MJ, you're missing your school bus. You're supposed to be on that. It's not my bus. I haven't been in school in years. You're supposed to be on that bus, MJ. Well, let's try and make sure we're not in like a terrible sunspot. So I guess walk more this way. So we got out of Toy Story 3, not 3D. We did not see 3D. It was better to see it not in 3D, because I saw the first two in 2D, so this one should have been seen in 2D as well. And did, did you really notice any scenes in this where like you, it seemed like 3D would have been like really extreme? Do you know what I mean? Like, Maybe one or two. Like a few scenes on things shot out. I guess 
I guess it would be kind of cool in 3D, I guess. Uh, honestly, overall, 3D is overrated. Yeah, it's kind of like the new trend thing right now. It's just a, like, a gig to make I, money. I want to see Piranha 3D, because like that's made for 3D. You know what you I mean? Like what? Piranha 3D. Oh, Piranha. But that's yeah. actually shot and made like totally to be 3D. Like If you don't watch a movie like that in 3D, it's not really... You know what I mean? It's like made for it. Right. This is kind of just like... If the first two weren't in it, I mean, some people might be like, well, the technology wasn't there yet. Yeah, well, well they, they could have done they, that old 3D, you even know what I mean? They re released them about, like months ago, the first two as a double feature in 3D. Oh, yeah, they did re release them in they 3D. Did that. I Although, forgot about that. Well, the thing is, when they were originally released, they weren't in 3D, so this one shouldn't have been either. No. I know. One thing, though, about this is Pixar can't go all the way with their animation because, since you know how it's supposed to be like the old animation? Yeah, it's supposed to be like the way, which is fine. It's fine, though. I, although I have a weird opinion on Toy Story, I always have because it's very weird. It's kind of the movie that destroyed animation. Really? It ended it because this remember how because first? of because of how good the animation was, it took over and made hand drawn animation go like goodbye. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So I've always kind of had a weird opinion of it. You know what I mean? Because it it made the hand drawn go out, and I love hand drawn animation. I know, and I think. It's fine to have computer animated movies. It is. It's fine. Have, the only thing is they should have kept hand drawn ones. Too. Like you never see them anymore. Like when was the last time? The thing is though, like, I'm glad they stuck with it. Like Princess and the Frog, they yeah. came out in it last year. That that's one that could have come out in '92. So at I least know. They're, they're getting back to that again. So hopefully, like we continue to see some more. Because I mean, I know it's the advanced way, but there's just something about when you look at things like you know, Chipmunks movie and like the classic Five of Goes West. You know, the Five of movies and like, yeah. just those classic movies. You know, hand drawn animation thing even like the old Looney Tunes and stuff there's just a thing to it that the CGI animation doesn't have yeah something like Toy Story is good and it, it works in it though yeah, that works some things work there's some that I saw there's a few we saw that I thought would have been better to see like over the hedge was really good mm -hmm. I would have liked to have seen that as a cartoon yeah I would like I would have too um, although it was funny though in this movie the opening short had 2D animation hand drawn yeah, like hand drawn animation mixed those um, shorts those th shorts in the beginning this one Kind of was. Part of it was. It was like mix and kind of. Yeah. It was inter it was it was one of the weakest shorts I've seen them do. I know. It was, it was okay, but like when you compare it to like some of the other ones they've done, it was weak, didn't think, you think? Kind of. The thing is, this it was clever though. The S, like what they did with it. You'd have it to was. See it to yeah, yeah. Sense. Well, at the movie though, part of the problem is I saw Toy Story one and two. You only saw Toy Story one. I don't know if I ever saw two or not. I, it two was, was good. I mean, it was eleven years ago. I can't even remember. Did it come out? Yeah, the first one came out in '95. But didn't it come out, out in middle school? Yeah, '97. Like, yeah, no, no. The first, the second, the sequel came out in '99. That was when we were in the eighth grade. That was a terrible year. You sure it was '99? I, I checked before. I, yeah. Oh, I thought it was '97. No, the first one was '96. I'm pretty sure. I could have sworn it was the first one was '95. Maybe, but I'm pretty sure the sequel was '90. Yeah, I know it was when we were in middle school. That's all I yeah, knew. Yeah, the first one came out. I was like in fourth grade when the first one came out. Yeah, I know the second one was when we were in middle school, which was a terrible year. True. So maybe that's why I didn't want to see it. Do you know there's certain things like when we think about middle school, like the Rugrats movie? Oh, yeah. I like, can't it's watch like that. I can't watch that at all. I can't watch Rugrats in Paris because I think of, um, I don't know, all that awful stuff in ninth grade. But basically, though, it was about the Andy's toy. Like, my, Andy was going to college and he had to get rid of all <laughs> he this just stuff. Got out of high school. Or he had to get rid of most of his stuff. His mom's like, no, you have to either put this stuff in the attic or, like, put it in the trash, right? Yeah, it's like one of the two, and there's a mistake. And the only one, like, he goes through all of them, and then he's holding Woody and Buzz. He puts Buzz there. He, he wants to take Woody with him. It makes sense. And he means Woody to put the toys in the attic, one. the other ones, and then, like. But accidentally, they go to the trash, and then. Woody, of course, you know, he's the hero. He goes to save them. And then they end up going and getting donated to this orphanage place. Not an it's orphanage, not a, a, it's a daycare, a daycare center. center, yeah. And they end up going there. And a lot of stuff, what I love, though, is the opening sequence, how yeah, I just got, I just, I was blown away all over again, just like with the first two, how it was. You know, uh, Randy how, Newman's music always makes you cry. It does. What I love Although he one, didn't do as much in this movie, though. Not as much, but um, at points, I don't want to give anything away, but this one this one made me cry. I think this one made me cry more than the second one did. The like end, I said, I didn't see it. I almost say it's the scene at the end. I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm just saying, like, this one did, because I was I was a big disaster. But with the scene in the opening, what's cool is how there's Andy playing with the toys, but then there's, like, what he's pretending is happening. Like, Buzz is actually flying and actually shooting a laser. They were... Um, Reenacting some of the stuff that happened of him playing at the beginning of the first one and the beginning of the second one. It was really cool to see that. I will say though, the movie, like compared to other Pixar movies, it wasn't, 
you know, like, it wasn't as up to par with, like, things like Wally. You know what I mean? It's hard to compete with things like that. Well, kind of. Things, though, it's Toy Story. You yeah. know what I mean? And There's only so much you can do with that. You know what I mean? Like, I know, but for what it was, it was fantastic. No, it I really mean, was good. It was, it was... I think some of it was kind of... It was kind of hard to accept some of it because... The whole idea is they were his toys. I think I was mildly depressed, too, because, you know, the slinky dog was originally, you know, Jim, oh, yeah, Varney, Jim Varney. And then the guy, you know, who's like, can you say championship? You know, and that, you know, grown-ups, and he's in all those Lake Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, that guy. But he replaced him. I mean, I just kept on thinking of Ernest the whole time. I was, like, just depressed. Oh, that. Because, you know what I mean? Because Ernest was, like, a true hero to me. Yeah, they didn't have slinky talk as much in this one. No, I think it was because, you know... Yeah, because I think Jim Varney, he recorded, like, the rest of the, th the audio for Toy Story 2 right before he died. So. I know. And I remember, like, Atlantis came out, like, two years after he died, and that was, like, a d disaster watching that. Oh, yeah. Remember, he was, like, the lead in that, and I was so it was all depressing. Jim was, Varney? Uh-huh, he was a big part in that. In Atlantis? Atlantis. You mean that cartoon movie? Uh-huh, that was, like, a totally forgotten movie. I didn't know he did that. He did. Huh. It's like one of those forgotten things. I know. I it's just it like once. that one movie that John Candy did that still hasn't, at least as, as far as I know, never came out. There was one he did a voice for it. They had like funding problems. And up until like a year or two ago, they said he was still going to be a voice in it. And, and then he took him off the credits, so who knows what's going on with that. I know. But it was a very good movie. This was. This but really like, you was don't compare away. it to like the new Pixar movies because it's not like that. You know, what I mean, it's not I mean, like the animation's different. It's, it's and... more. It's very. It, it's definitely more kiddish. I will say that it's more. The well, thing is, it's it's aimed towards kids, and they don't want to throw in like all these like Shrek. With movies like Shrek, they throw in a lot of these adult references. The Toy Story you can't really do that. Yeah, because like with with the other Pixar things, like you you know Ratatouille and stuff, they're more. There there are kids movies, but everybody will like them. With these. It's aimed way more at kids, which is, I think... Of course, I think kids and also um, people who are adults now who were kids when the first one came out. Yeah, but, like, if you were... You only like it. See, if you are if you were um, already, like, at least in high school when the first one came out, I don't know if you're going to you like it. You probably won't like it, because it is very kiddish. Yeah. And it's it's more kiddish than even, like, the Rugrats. You know what I mean? It's real... It's totally, you know, age, like, what age would you say? I'd say, like... Nine, ten, maybe. Yeah, that. I kinda, wouldn't say babyish. It's not. Not that babies, bad. but like that kind of age. It is good though. Like I said though, it, if you're an adult, like and you haven't seen the other ones, it's not as recommended. I mean, and if you like, in his case, if you've only seen one of them, I'd say recommend seeing both of them because they make references in this one. Like, you're not gonna know who Jesse is. You're not gonna know who Bullseye is. There are half the ones in here. You're gonna go. Wait a minute. I saw the first one. I don't know who these people are. I know. Now I guess let's walk over this way a little bit. Just like change location a little bit. But and, and I, I guess, do recommend seeing it. And I guess we should mention, too, about the move coming up. Right. Well, yeah, before we mention that, to end the whole Toy Story 3, I mean, honestly, I'm serious. I, I saw this before. I saw this coming before I even saw the movie. I really see no reason not to give it five stars, because what it's supposed to be... No, it is very it good. It is. It's it very is, good. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. It is. I mean, you know, I know it's hard to accept. It's like he's an adult. He has to get rid of them, or he has to do this. You know what I mean? But the thing is, that's true to life. So... I hope there's not... Let's get in the car and then talk about the move. Because right. I have this wind. I don't want the wind so, to... Like... I recommend see Toy Story 3, five stars. So, um, hopefully that last take wasn't all wind. I really hope it no, wasn't. I know, that last one. What I was saying was, I do, I really, I recommend, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, see Toy Story 3, five stars, definitely see now, it. Now, there's been a lot of questions now about the move, and I think we better address it. Yes, I've gotten lots of questions on my channel and on my Facebook as well. There's been a lot of stuff like, oh no, it's the end of an era, Cool Duder's dead, the channel's gone. First of all, there's nothing that's happening with this channel. No, our channels are both staying strong. Yeah, both of them. And, like, I'm going to continue to post vlogs on here, to post the DVD updates. Nothing's going to change. Right. Basically, what's going on is, in the end, around mid-August, probably after the 15th when I finish a film, me and MJ are going to drive, yes, we're going to drive all the way from Maryland, which is one side, all the way to the other side, to, to California. California. Yes. So, literally, and should we mention the film we're doing? Which one? Yeah. Oh yeah, we are going to film... See, right now you're watching an episode of the show called Around the Town. We're shooting a movie, and it's going to be called Around the Country. I think around maybe across the country. And we're going to put it... Like, we'll put clips of it online, and then put it for like five... Like, really cheap. Like, five bucks or right. whatever on Amazon. And I'm going to figure out how you put it on there so you can download it to like... 
keep it and put it or whatever you want with it. Cause literally, we're going to be going from DVD. one side to the other, so it will be across the country. And I figure that's a good thing, like, because we've never done anything like that, and we want to make it really interesting. We're going to try and go to the rest stops and, like, What I find all interesting, kinds of though, things. you said that you spoke to the people, and they said a rough estimate, if you drive eight hours on, like, the highway every eight, day, yeah. it'll take about, what, six to seven days? Yeah, or so seven like, to eight. The thing is, you and me, like, when we go an hour, it, like, a, a drive that should only take an hour can sometimes take us, like, how long? Seriously. Well, let's see. I, I remember once, I'm not. I'm just going to say, we had, there was a 45-minute drive we had to do. It That's took us it. two hours. Yeah, somehow it extended to two we hours. We can turn 45 minutes into two hours. So if eight hours every day for seven days, imagine what we're going to turn that into. We can't make it too long because we have to, you know, those hotels are going to be so expensive. Right. But we're planning to stop in Vegas. Yes. Because we wanted to do it forever. We've never been. It's one of the few we're things. We're definitely shooting there. That we've always wanted to go to and we've never been there. Mostly be doing the slots. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know if you can film much in, in like in the casinos because they're all crazy about that. But around, yeah, we'll but can. out front and like stuff like that. And MJ, you can't go to the Bunny Ranch though; it's too expensive. But we'll film, you know, the buffets and the food, and like all kinds of stuff like that. But just just so you know, though, like don't worry. Basically, when we get out, when I get out to California, MJ's gonna stay with me for a little while. Right. We'll shoot some videos out there. And then MJ's going back, right? Right. Now, for the future vlogs, if anything, like, you're still going to be doing some when you see films out there, like, around the towns of California, and I'll be just still doing around the towns here in Maryland. So, if anything, you're going to be getting two around the towns on Fridays. And we're pretty much going to coordinate it, too. Like, so, like, what I could do is, like, after I see something, I'll just hold up the phone. And, you know, that points you to hear what I say, because um, if you want to not just have it be you, you could have, like, your brother, maybe you could have, like, Wet Movie 1 is out there. So look up his channel. He's out there as well. And here, I could just find someone I could do it with. And if one thing we could do, I it might be a pain in the ass, but what we could do was you could shoot it at the same time we're doing the phone thing. Right. And you know what I mean? Or I can listen to it on the phone, and then we can cut to you filming yourself. Right. Do you know what I mean? So I can actually take your vlog and cut it in with mine. So we can make it like one vlog. But we'll do that with like specific ones. But other ones are just be simple, you know, just phone right, stuff. Right. One's coming up. Like one I know of that's still coming up that I'm real that I'm really nuts for is Tron Legacy, and that's coming out in December. By then you'll be in California, and I'll still be here. And don't worry, we're still be doing films together. We're doing we one will. together, don't worry, and we're like not splitting up because I've got some messages. He's moving. Are you guys splitting up? Nope, we're not splitting up. We we're are we're still... doing a movie together in like three weeks in Connecticut. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll continue to do stuff, and we're talking, doing something with synthetic, a cameo thing. For, so, we're yes. talking to all kinds of people. So, don't worry, like, nothing, nothing's ended or anything like that. Right. And, like I said, MJ will come and visit, or I'll come back to Maryland, and, like, at least a couple times a year. So, don't worry. Right. And you can just stay there anytime you want, MJ. It's an open invitation. Well, thank you. So don't worry, everybody who's been saying, is the channel dead? Is it going to be over? No. Well, basically, I'm moving out there just to continue to pursue the film acting thing, which I've been doing a lot of work. I just want to continue, you know, going out there and doing stuff out there. Right, and I've been doing the same thing. And once I go out there, too, I'll be doing the same thing. And you'll probably be out there within the next year, hopefully. Probably. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I think once I get out there, you just decide I'm just going to go. Yeah, because honestly, it's not nothing's over. If anything, it's like a whole new chapter or something, you know? And I feel like, too, like, we've been in Maryland now for 24 years, our entire lives. It's pretty much like we've done everything, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, like, it's like a huge, like, we've lived in this lake for all this time, and we've fished everything out. It's time to move into, like, an ocean. There's just not enough left to do. Like, that guy's out there, like, standing there looking at the world. <laughs> but it's like, you know, we watch things close down, you know what I mean? Like, the malls have turned to sheet, and, like, you know, some of our favorite places are closed. It'd be nice to be able to go somewhere new and discover new things. And, you know, it'd be nice to just sit on the beach and do nothing. You know what I mean? True. On, a, on a cool day. I know. And, like, I, I want to go out there and do, like, some extra stuff just to get on these big sets and stuff, too. Exactly. Except I think what we'll all be excited about is when we do the Around the Country, mm -hmm. that thing when we go. Um, you made I, a good point. I think one thing we should ask people, though is to, if anyone wants to research, like, things we should try and go to. Yeah, you know I don't exactly know which way we're going. We're going, like, here's Maryland, here's California. I don't exactly know which route we're taking. Apparently there's a south, there's a north way, like, going, like, you know, this way. Towards, like, like, from Maryland and up, and then, like, down a bit. So you said if we go down, we would cross Texas. 
Well, it's apparently like the south way. Everyone say don't like someone said don't go that way. Go the north way. Really? Like, if anybody who's driven has, has driven that, like let us know which is the, which best, is the way, best way. But also which way has like a lot of really good attractions and things to see on the way that way. Like any weird things. I mean, like the ball of string, anything weird. Like or old fifties, like bowling alleys, stuff like that. Like any, anybody who's in these areas that knows things that we're gonna go by that we should go to. The same with Vegas. Like where's the best buffet and you know yeah, things like Vegas, that. I think we'll have to spend at least. A few days there because that's like there's like lots of stuff there i mean I'm trying to think what else um it's just but you made a good point when you told me about this you had said i don't know if you thought about this since we're going across the country we're going state by state like there's lots of stuff we're going to come across we could run into anything i know and i thought if we could we have to catch it on camera and i bought a new gps that's in there all right so like it's up to date and everything there, there's a thing for it right there so like we won't get lost. Yeah. Because the old one, the old one, like the maps weren't updated. How many times did we run into areas where like it said go there, my favorite we'd turn, was, and it was the end. It did would we be want to building. go like Roy Rogers, except it was like an empty parking lot. Yeah, we went. It said like no, it was Hardee's. It was like Hardee's, Hardee's and it went beep beep, you're here. And then we looked. We're like, it's a big huge building. It was like building. look right there, look it's right there. It's basically like that. It's like it was this empty space, and I was like, it was almost kind of sad and a little scary in a way. It was like. Mm -hmm. And then a couple times it took me down a one-way road. It said, beep, beep, turn here. I went down, it was a one-way road. And what was one other one, remember we went maybe two or three weeks ago, we went one way and it went to a building, parking lot. It was real scary. Remember that? We had that? to turn around because we were near downtown. It's like, wait, what? We've never been in this part of downtown. Who knows if we were even driving on a one-way road at that point? Yeah, that's That what, was terrible. That's what sucks is like when they change them into one-way roads and you don't know it and you have to like turn the other way except you're going the wrong way. I know. But this is just basic. This video is basically just the Toy Story review and the update because we're not really doing too much today. We're just going to pretty much go home and watch stuff. Yeah, today today's been a really good, really easy going day. I know, but that's pretty much everything. And like, um, like we said though, let us know about things you know of that are on the way and things that you know things like remember think of like the Keenan Kel movie too. And remember when they stopped all those places? Oh yeah. Two heads are better than none. And we should try and figure out if we can stop at some of the things from National Lampoon's too. Definitely. Like, like that old like, West town, remember? Yeah, where where were they from? Weren't they from Chicago? Yeah, so they went. They would probably go they the were doing same this, way we were. It was were. similar, except with us, we're going longer, because they're in Chicago, we're all the way in, in Maryland, so we're going further than they are. Like, we don't care about any attractions in Maryland or anything, we all know that. So, yeah, like, we've already showed We only those. want the stuff, like, in the middle of the country, like, on the way. So anything that you know of that's weird. Not, like, Six Flags or anything. I mean, like... Just weird stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was hoping maybe once we got to California, we could go to like Disneyland. Yeah, we can do that. I've, I've dreamed of going. I've only been there once. I was like one. And I guess but, another thing is like, if there's any areas we should watch out for, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, say don't go there. Like, don't like, go this we'd way. We appreciate or, that. Or, or don't don't make it a joke out of it. Don't say don't go there. It turns out it's a really great place. Don't play pranks on us like that. Yeah. But um, well, you'd made a good point. We should hopefully we can stick to a. I don't know about a schedule, but we can just. I don't know, keep it well held together when, as we're moving along because we don't want to find out we've gone all these weird ways. And then, you know, we have to call, like, your, your mom or your dad or we call someone, like, where are you? And it's been four days and it's like, uh, we're in Virginia. It's like, I know. you know, that only, that just, it takes only a day to get out of Virginia. And we'll bring the laptop so we can, as, as long as we can find somewhere with Wi-Fi, we'll update, like, updates. You know what I mean? Like, just right. video of us in the hotel and we'll just say what we did that day. You know what right. I mean? Just to keep you updated. Oh, and another important thing, I'm sure a lot of you have wondered, I haven't had a new video on my channel in quite some time. I'm going to be uploading some very soon, so don't worry. There, so be on the lookout for videos from MJ Kelly Zero. So basically, next week, next Friday, I'm going to be away. The next two Fridays, I'm away, and then we go to do the Connecticut movie. Then it gets very busy. So there's sporadically be videos up. Right. But we'll do our best. And like we said too, when we do go on the journey, we'll make a video every night as long as we can find Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? Because you know. Yes. Who knows? Some of those hotels don't have it, and then it's a pain. You're like, oh, what am I supposed to do? Except some of, don't some of them have like computer rooms or computer labs? Yeah, and like that one when we were like a chiller. Remember, we had those computer labs, and you could just freely go in, and you could. Remember just use how them. we saw our friend? Oh yeah, Joe Zazzo. Joe Zazzo came in. He's like, guys, want some donuts? Yeah, he, he was cool. I know. But um, they might have ones like that. I know. Basically, we're gonna run out of time. Oh shoot. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just end it with whatever we eat tonight. Yes. Look, MJ, yet again, another Blockbuster closing. Let's get in there where we still can. I know. I found, MJ, for $4, the out-of-print, forgotten film Outside Providence with Alec Baldwin. Do you even remember this, MJ? I don't think I do. Like, the Farley Brothers produced it, and it's like a truly forgotten film. Well, did you go in there looking for another one? 
The one I, I cannot find because it's like $80 online is Treehouse Hostages. The Jim Varney one. Remember that one? Those kids like kidnap him because he's a criminal. Did you ever remember. see that? No, maybe I did and I don't remember it. It's really forgotten. If I saw it again, maybe I'd remember it if I did see it before. It's just a shame with like all these blockbusters closing. It's like there's soon there'll be none left. Well, we caught them in this video, so it'll be now immortalized. I know, it's right there. Store closing. I guess this is like by the rotunda. I don't know exactly what... No, this is Hamden area. Right. It's hot in here. I better turn this key on. OMJ, what a g great closing to this long video of us just talking and discussing things. Doesn't this make you just feel like making out? With who? You know. With one of the people watching? Oh, you and me. Well, like you said, this is a beautiful closing to a video of us talking. You don't feel like it, MJ? Kind of makes me want to go swimming, you know? Now, on a serious note, though, last time we were in the California Tortilla, we saw somebody coming in in a towel. Yeah. And remember how we thought that maybe he might have jumped into this? Yeah. Like, he was like, I'm going to go swimming the Nile Channel, whatever the hell this thing is. But right up here, there is a swimming pool right there. There's only 21 seconds left, so you want to say your goodbyes? Well, we wish you were all here to experience this beauty with us. And this is like one of the last, you know, vlog around the towns in Maryland. There may be one more, but this might be one of the last ones before the movie and the, and the on set vlogs and stuff. Well, I gotta admit, I think this is a good one. I mean, definitely, there was no problems at all today. So, see you later. Bye. Bye.